After I returned from Say San, I called Al to tell him Mason Bowers had taken a 40-foot leap. The guy was so broken up, he hung up the phone. I'm not sure if Bowers' death ended Alt's interest in this whole sorry mess, but my gut tells me I'll need his help if I'm ever going to solve this case. I decided to visit St. Germain to find more information about the Tesla egg. So, how goes the investigation? I don't suppose you have any news regarding that egg we talked about. Well, everybody's talking about the Tesla egg, but I think I've got a lead on it. Ah, the egg of Columbus, the copper egg. Unveiled by Tesla at the Chicago World's Fair in 1893, it was the very heart of a small prototype that some say would become his most notorious invention. But you seem underwhelmed, and that's not good. You know the story of Tunguska? Well, I do now. If you believe, as many do, that the Tunguska explosion was caused by the Tesla death ray, and you believe that the Tesla egg is a core component of the death ray, well, then the egg would be of immense fortune. Tell me. What do you believe, Mr. Murphy? I believe you know a lot more than you're telling me. Are you familiar with Paradise Lost? Isn't that one of those resorts for swingers? <laughs> Paradise Lost is a poem about the great divide in heaven when Lucifer was cast out. After his banishment, Lucifer swore revenge and created an army of his own. He and his followers waited in darkness for their chance to strike back at the god who cast them out. After a three-day battle against the faithful angels, the forces of evil were banished from heaven for all eternity. Well, I like it when the good guys win. Yes. But what if the war were not over? What if Lucifer had not been defeated but lay in wait, preparing for his chance to overthrow heaven? Well, debating hypothetical fairy tales is a little nerdy for me. Look at the world around you. Did heaven win the battle? Man has created hell on earth. And the longer man exists, the further he descends from the wisdom and discernment needed to overcome the darkness. At his core, is a grasping, clawing, foolish creature willing to commit any sin to appease his base and greedy nature. I thought I was jaded. You really think we're as bad as all that? There are still some who give me hope. You, I'm not sure about. Your role, whether for good or evil, has yet to be determined. He's not so bad. Does he have the egg? <laughs> no, my dear. Entirely the wrong egg. An interesting trinket, to be sure, but not the egg I'm searching for. Well, if it isn't Ariel Bowers. You know, I hope I pronounced that correctly, because Bowers doesn't have a wife. Great work, detective. How long did that take to figure out? Not long, after Bowers told me. I have to confess, I haven't been totally honest with you on some things. Just some? I didn't know who you were when you first interrupted my own search of Bowers Place. And what were you doing there? I work for an organization you wouldn't have heard of. We're based out of St. Petersburg. In Florida. Russia. How about you? I don't work for anyone. Just the greater good. And... My own little passions, of course. Ariel and I have crossed paths on several occasions. This time we seem to have some objectives in common, so we pooled our resources. Yeah, I'm well familiar with Ariel's resources. 
How common are your objectives and mine? That depends. You the kind of man who lets innocent people die? Uh, not normally, no. You've heard of the Tesla Legacy Society. At one time, it had a membership of hundreds. After Charles Johansson died, the numbers dwindled. Some time ago, all those people vanished without a trace. I had hoped to find some answers from Bowers. Oh, I got news for you. He's not dead. He's back. He's the translator, I presume. The one building the immortal coil. You say you like it when the good guys win? You plan on doing anything about that? Oh, sure. Leave it to me, as always. What are you two gonna do about it? This is not my battle to fight. He knows me. I won't be able to get close to him like you can. You shall have to find the test the reg first. Of course. Great. I didn't even think of that. Well, if you don't have any more helpful tips... Until we meet again, Mr. Murphy. And something tells me we will. Until next time. Kiss me luck. You'll need it. After visiting with St. Germain, the former Mrs. Bowers invites me to a place called the Resort and says she has information to exchange. Well, well, if it isn't Dudley Do-Right. Caught me, red-handed. And if it isn't Natasha Vitale, you and Boris Barinov have certainly pulled a fast one on me. Saint Germain isn't part of this. He's a collector looking for the Fabergé egg. I'm an agent looking to infiltrate the translator. Yeah, and I'm an accountant. No, I really am. The organization I work for, you couldn't pronounce it, but in English it's called the White Guard. We've been monitoring the translator for years. We've had our eye on you as well. So are you going to interrogate me? I have so much to confess. Why are you acting like I'm even slightly in control of this situation? I'll be honest with you. I need your help, Tex. And I can help you, but I had to find out where your loyalties were. So, what is it you think we can do for each other? I mean, other than the obvious. That's why we're here, together, alone. I hope you don't mind. I took the liberty of ordering some food. Should be here any minute. I thought we could have a bite, get to know each other a little better. Said the spider to the fly. I told you, Tex, I've had my eye on you for a while. And as you know, I'm not married. Who knows what lies ahead? What lies ahead? That may be the truest thing you've ever said to me. It's a rough world out there. Any of us could be dead tomorrow. I live in the moment. And right now, I want that moment to be with you. Perhaps. Perhaps. So full of possibilities. Is there a more intriguing or enticing word? Perhaps. Must be the food. Do you mind getting it while I change? Perhaps. Okay. I need to get this out before you say anything. I get it. You don't know me anymore, but I know you, and I'm not just going to give up on what we had. It may not have been much, but I wanted it to be much, and I'm here just to see if you'll give us one more chance. Please. Please. Look, I know seven years have passed. I realize that. But to me, it's yesterday. I'm in love with Chelsea, and if there's any chance that I can find her and that she's alive, I can't commit to any. I hope you find what you're looking for, Tex. I really do. And if you ever decide to let go of the past, come look me up. I might still be here. I 
wish just once I'd had a man love me like you love this Chelsea person. Who is she? Oh, it's just someone I used to know. <laughs> I heard what you said, naughty boy. You want some advice? Don't push your luck. You don't know a good thing when you've got it, do you? Well, it's not that bad, really. There are plenty of other fish in the sea just waiting to reject me. The good news is that without further distractions, I can focus on my case. I get a call from Archie who says he has a lead for me and I should come over right away. <laughs> 